we are four minutes late always. I don't even know what it's like to be on time, y'all. Okay, so, oh shit, how about those? Um, I am doing this for one of my girls. Um, so full mama is my girl. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, okay. So full mama has, but I'm here. has come through on like, just, she checks on me when everything like kind of happened and we don't know each other off of YouTube. So for somebody to like actually come into my stream, Hey, Fresh Prince, we doing healthy. I don't know who's ready for that, but we doing healthy. Who's, who Fresh is Prince ready? is in. Oh, no. Joe's not ready for it. Um, so so Flow Mama has been kind of like, um, when kind of things were crazy when I left the large creator that I was at, um, there was a lot of people that I lost, but I feel like the Lord removed them. So I don't feel like they were, it was a loss. It was, they were moved. So, I would still go live and we'd still have our people and so Flo Mama would slide through and just be like, yo, what's up? Hey man, da 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 da. And to me, um, because we don't know each other, like I had my girls that were reach out to me off of here in my SpongeBob voice. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I love you. Um, so my girls that I know off of here hit me up. We talk about all the stress and everything that I was going through from the big craziness that went on there. But Soflo Mama um, didn't know me. We didn't share any numbers or anything like that off of here. So she would slide through and be like, hey, just wanted to check on you. How's everything going? So to me, that kind of just set in my heart. I never ta saw her talk ever about me, but at anything, like some of my own friends were on, on panels or having people up on their panel. And they just, whatever, you know what I mean? You just know not to trust nobody on the YouTube, okay? I know, it was, it felt felt love, man. I mean, for real. Um, but I had no way to get back to her. Like, she would leave a comment. And it was just like, so Flo Mama has always, um, so when she comes through, I really want to show some love to her. And if she's like, man, can you make a plant-based? I'm like, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, really, I used to cook Kato because me and my husband did Kato. So I didn't, I, I tried to just kind of pull different recipes, but um, I'm doing this as kind of a, um, a Kato slash plant-based, but either way, there's no God in it. It's almost like a vegetarian one, but I am doing what I know. So this is a version of some, uh, a dish that I used to make for me and Joe. Can you kick the light on, Dad? Sure. So... I don't know if anybody is aware how to make um, rice, but this is the way we'd eat rice when we'd eat like a vegetable stir fry or whatever. You get a cauliflower. The good thing about it is you can decide. This is three pulses in my, in my uh, what's that thing called? My ninja. I need you for my words. <laughs> so this is the big ones. Yes, I could. Hey, mama. Hi, baby. Oh, shut up, Lily. Lily, I'm trying, baby. I'm trying. Um, so you can do them bigger because you're not buying it in a bag. But I guarantee you, even if you're buying a bag of cauliflower rice, can you hand me the head of cauliflower? The benefit of it, using it and doing it your own cauliflower, is that you don't... And I need the garlic, Daddy. I thought I took that out. Is that you can decide, one, the size... But I also can use it for my cauliflower. See, I can use the same purchase, like $3 cauliflower, can still be used for the, oh, thank you, baby. You can use it for the rice. The, the, you can't find a cauliflower? I'm trying to find everything you're asking. I'm just right. looking for cauliflower and garlic. Right there. There's um, thank you. Garlic? I don't know where I put my garlic, Daddy. Uh, okay. So I bought this $3 cauliflower. I still have half of it. Go, oh, shoot. I had it on. I'm sorry. I still have half of the cauliflower. So I can use this. If I love it with butter. Yes. Butter, salt. I know it's unhealthy, but whatever. We would use it for like mashed potatoes. We'd use it for this. Here's half of it. And then this. So if you look at it realistically, this had cost me $284. I divided it in half. It was $140. $1.40 for a bag. I mean, if you know, you know. Buying a bag of cauliflower costs like a dollar, two dollars, and it's like a six ounce or a four ounce bag. So, homegirl, you can play that. So, we're gonna start. This is how I would do it. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. 
I know Sophie Mama's got a life outside of here, so I don't expect her. If she's not here, she's not here. What's it? Lily St. Drew tried a plant-based burger. And I know. Did he like it? Joe's going to try to make a burger, Lily. Joe's going to try to make a plant-based burger for uh, So Flo Mama. But he said it was good, didn't he? I'll send mine through UPS. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Fresh Prince said, send his, his dish through UPS. All right. All right. Let me steer you down. Oh, can you hand me my um, apron? What is it? It's not in the fridge. <laughs> Here, tie me up. Hey, tie me up. Forget about it. You're a dirty mind, bro. I'm trying to be an innocent good girl here, but you all know men ain't a good guy. Just kidding, 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 kidding. Okay, I have garlic. I what I do is get my my cauliflower with a little flavor flavor. Hey Faithy! My sweetness. Thank you for coming through, Mama. I'm gonna use a little olive oil because um because I'm I'm doing everything different with this one. Little olive oil. Um, I would say a teaspoon of olive oil. I'm just doing this to get my rice a little flavor on it. This is cauliflower. I did it myself, you guys. All I had to do was break it down from this. I broke it in half. Cut it through a knife. I put it in my ninja. Or you can just use a knife like this and cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it. Okay? That's it. That is this. I stuck it in a bag like this. I didn't do nothing else. And I steamed it for about two minutes. So there, a lot of them are done. I'm just going to get a nice little flavor on them. I want this to have flavor before I do any of the other stuff. So you flavor all the way along. I'm going to flavor my rice. Then I'm going to make a little slurry. Look at I even prepared it for y'all. That's my slurry ready to get down. We're going to get down with the get downs. If you know, you know. I need a little ice cube to put me into the mood. All right. I'd say one clove of garlic. Baby, I might need you to crush it. Oh, we didn't buy garlic, everyone. Could you put a garlic and an onion and one of them? A teaspoon of each. Okay, here's my onion. Garlic. And my rice is already done. I'm not trying to cook it for any amount of time. It's pretty much done. That's the water from when I put it in the steamer. Oh, I guess when I rinsed it, when I rinsed it off, baby, before I emulsified it, or whatever goes on in that. Oh, I got an onion. <laughs> Hold on. I got an onion of skin. An onion brown paper. Yeah. Oh, look at that. From when I mulched it, babe. Remember I rinsed it off before I mulched it? Yeah. Look at my bowl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. I didn't want to pour that in there, you guys, because I already have my... I have it on medium-high heat, not hot, not medium, medium-high. It's like enough flame to get it going, but I'm not trying to... I mean, I don't care if it toasts, because I'm going to do a, a little... I didn't put egg, because I didn't know if Soflo Mama wanted an egg. Can I close this, Daddy? Yeah. I didn't know if Soflo Mama wanted me to do egg or full vegetarian, but I am trying to do some of the recipes that me and Joe used to want? do. Oh, sugar bear, sure. Uh, no. No? Powder so I can put with that stuff. Oh. Well, you know what? Why not? Put it right there and I'll do it. I'll do it as fresh. Well, yeah. I'll put powder in if you want. I just wanted to make a slurry before it goes in here. Oh. I'm going to use that, though, for my dust. Okay. I'll just... Yep, and then do a powder into that one. Sure. Thank you. Welcome in, everybody. I hope this Joe's still doing, <laughs> Joe's still doing a Coney Dog sauce later of... A health, unhealthiness but um, anybody if you caught the beginning uh, one of my subs she's actually got a, a place in mi corazon um, you know what I put I wear my heart on my sleeve and I love I love hard and so flow mama has shown me nothing but love um, has she sent me a cash app yes did she send me was she supporting me before she sent me a cash app yes has she so, showed me support before the cash app yes she would just stop in and look at the videos so she's gone the replay game she's been in lives and she sent me cash apps the least i can do is make something that she's asking me that's how i see it you guys she has been a solid friend 
I mean, solid. What and and honestly, there's actually. I mean, we don't even talk to each other off of here. We don't have the ability. We have never exchanged phone numbers, contacts, email. We just talk here. But she's been solid with me, and I appreciate a solid, uh, a solid girl. All right, I'm gonna put it on high to get some of that moisture that's underneath it. I'll show you what I mean. That wet, I gotta get that out of there. So I am gonna get a little heat on it, moving it up to a high heat. Then I'm gonna start grilling up these. I'm gonna make a slurry in the meantime with y'all. So we're not just sitting around wasting dead airspace. So I'm gonna dump this really quick. Um, I hope everybody's having a good hump day. I hope you guys really are. I mean, we take a couple days off every now and then. And it doesn't feel like we're really taking a day off. But, I mean, I am. I get to pop, pop in and I try to support a couple of different creators that have been supportive of me. But for me, I say hi to them and then I usually hop back out. I try to spend time with my husband with whatever we're doing. Uh, sometimes, it's, you guys, sometimes it's just watching a show, a couple movies. We get into a... Um, uh, a series and we'll watch the whole series um, we love Breaking Bad we love Bad Medicine um, so for me um, I mean that's our pastime is we enjoy each other's company we laugh I mean like I said we used to take 12 hour trips from Michigan to Texas from Michigan to Arizona like we would take long trips and I mean, if you don't like the person you're hanging with right now at one year or two years in marriage, they don't, I mean, that is who you marry. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't want Joe to be like me. Like there's only enough time and room in our afternoon for one me. I mean, I am a big child. There's a lot of things I'm a big goofball. I don't take seriously. I'm always messing around and Joe's like the dad, literally the dad always trying to be strict with me hey rachel welcome in love fresh prince my girl lily that's my daughter-in-law you guys please be nice to her because she is my my grandson's baby my grandson's mama and we love her for loving my baby she's the best she's the best okay let's make ready i have one tablespoon of soy I'm sorry, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, one, hello, one tablespoon of hoisin, this is the hoisin, and then the runny one is teriyaki. I have a tablespoon of each one, okay guys? This is just my flavors that I enjoy. You may go, I cannot stand the way hoisin tastes. Then don't put it in there, bro. Don't do it, it's yours. I have one tablespoon, probably one teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm gonna put most of it, but I'm gonna reserve a little because I'm gonna put it into the pan later. I've told you guys before, this is your deal. Don't ever, ever go, well, mitt and mate. no, 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 no. This is yours, you're gonna feed your kids one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, okay? I'm gonna add soy, I got vegetable broth, again, I didn't know what, um, what Soflo Mama wanted me to do. So I got vegetable everything. I didn't put any um, chicken meat or nothing. It's doing all, we're doing all um, vegetable broth, vegetables in the, the mix. One tablespoon of vegetable broth. You don't have to, I might put a little bit more, but I'm just making a slurry right now. I'm gonna add cornstarch and soy, okay? The other one was teriyaki and poison garlic powder onion powder one teaspoon of each then i put sesame oil i would reserve one tablespoon and then split it in half because i'm going to put some of it in there and some of it over here ah shit <laughs> give me another pan that one Sorry guys, if you guys want to do eggs in this one, 
I would say it's up to you if you guys are not doing any kind of anything like that. But I probably would have added eggs or uh, some kind of uh, chicken strips, beef strips, something to that effect. Um, but do a toast. That's what, I mean, ideally I didn't want steamed rice. I wanted to put oil in it to steam it. And, or, I'm, I'm sorry, I wanted to put oil to toast it. I'm used to being it like Mexican rice, I guess, that I want to toast on it. But you don't have to. It's good like that. So I got the water to dissolve. I'm going to put it on low now while I finish the slurry with you guys. Sorry. And the soy sauce, I am, Joe's not a big fan of soy. So I don't want to tell you put a whole bunch. Do it. I'm putting a teaspoon of it because I already have the poison and teriyaki. That's the only reason I'm going to put a little less. If you're not going to put those, then I would definitely put at least two teaspoons of... Oh, my God. They have a new... <gasps> look at they started a new one. You guys, look what Mr. LaChoy decided. Okay. So this is the way Joe tried to describe this to me. All these are your flavors. So from here, you can grab your finger and taste it. If you like where it's going, this is the time you move it around because this is only going to thicken it. So taste this where it's at right now. And if it needs to be altered, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is the time to alter it right now. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more vegetable stock. And just be careful when you use your hoisin, you guys. I, I'm sorry, when you use your um, sesame oil, because if you've ever worked with sesame oil, it's a very pungent, or what's that word called? Pungent. pungent. It's a very pungent flavor. So start with very little sesame oil. I definitely wouldn't put a tablespoon at all. I would definitely start very low, and I should I should have taken the lid off of this, but I wonder if a lot of people got a hold of this. Bro, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like a lot of people use soy sauce like that. So I'm going to use a little more soy. I love soy sauce. Joe? Uh, I don't mind it. Really? Yeah, like He's not a fan of ginger. Flavor. I'm a fan of ginger. I love I like ginger. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like what it does to you. But. I don't know if that's true, Joe. Only you think that's true. <laughs> Joe says if you guys eat too much soy sauce, it can cause men to have... Well, he read it somewhere. I don't even know what he was thinking, but... Okay, guys. Um, so I think I'm gonna write, use regular oil, Daddy, instead. Uh, what is regular oil in the? Oh, right here. Purple. Oh, thank you. All right. Basically, I'm gonna do my veggies up, y'all. Garlic and onion. Let me just show you what I got. I'll read off any any vegetable you don't like, you guys. Remove it. Me and Joe are pretty flexible. Now we're going to have to lose boo-boo. Call boo-boo. Mama, can you call Drew and tell him I'm uh, doing a live? Hey, Penny, Rachel, Burke's Bunch, everybody, welcome in. Kimmy Love. Y'all, this is uh, for a recipe for my girl. Some of you guys know her. She's on the different side of the drama community. I, I actually talked to two different drama communities. I talked to the by um bullhorn betty dolly all that drama community and i go to queen bees and all that and then there's a drama community over here with bomb and and jj all that so she's here <laughs> so i was saying earlier my girl asked for a recipe and i said it at the beginning if y'all saw it in the beginning uh so Flo mama has been a solid one we don't know each other off of here but she's been solid to me throughout all when I left a larger creator and a lot of people were just keeping their distance, which is cool. That's cool. I feel like the Lord removed certain people from my life. I, I'm grateful and I never question or judge why the Lord does it. I accept it, what he does. My girl has always, oh, good, Soflo Mama. Um, I ate mine this morning too. Um, Soflo Mama would slide through, whether it be in the comments um so Flo mama has been a supporter whether it be in a live in the comments watching the replays she's sent me a, a cash app whatever she's done she's been a supporter 
from the day one. I mean, I've been on here for almost a year now. December will be a year I've been doing my lives. And SoFlo Mama has always supported me in one fashion or another. And to me, all you have is what you have on, on the streets. I will never see a live where SoFlo Mama's bashing me. I will never get a clip sent to me where SoFlo Mama's talking shit about me. SoFlo Mama is just a good person and I love her. So when my girl reaches out and says, man, make something plant-based, I'm like, SoFlo, y'all gonna have to give me all something, something. Me and Joe used to eat Kato-like somewhat, um, but I mean, after that, we kind of just, and I didn't know where, which direction. I just wanted to make something that my girl could appreciate. So I made, um, let me show you real quick, y'all. This is a head of cauliflower. You can either buy a bag of cauliflower. I chose to make my own. I used to, we used to do Kato and we did it all, but I just had to go. We actually veered off of Kato and started just doing locale. So we just do what we do now. So this is literally breaking it off, sticking it in my Ninja, and I do not need to pay people to do it. I put some oil in it a minute ago, I put some garlic and onion. So now this has, this is rice without it just being a steamed rice. It's flavored rice, okay? That's what this is, but we're gonna do our vegetables so we can add them with our rice and garlic and onion. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. And I made a slurry that's gonna be kind of like a little saucy sauce. But I'm gonna get my vegetables ready first. I was actually excited when I was buying this stuff yesterday. I was like, man, I felt good. Like somebody that, I, she's just a, she's a good person. So it didn't, I, I was very excited and proud to be knowing I was making it for somebody who had requested it. I mean, I love everybody. I mean, SoFlo has been here for months and months and months and months and months. And, and I just appreciate that kind of, uh, I don't know. She doesn't even eat this kind of food that I make. That's, that's the part that I love about her. She doesn't even eat the kind of food I make and she still comes through. So I appreciate you, SoFlo. So it is my pleasure to do something that I can do for one of my subs and especially a good, a good person. I have you guys, the good thing about buying the whole thing of cauliflower versus uh, buying a bag of it, you can make it into rice. I have chunks of it. I can do more with it than just a bag of it for the same probably amount of money. I'm just gonna put all my vegetables, I'm gonna put my tomatoes in last only because I don't want them to be I want to be a little firm and they're very, very soft. I put a scallion, but I put the bottom and the top in it. I put calabacitas. That's a little different than squash. Calabacita is a different color squash, but it's a squash. I put celery and I just did them small pieces. Um, there's actually a string on them. If you put your knife along it and pull down, it takes the little string off of the outside of it. And then I have red peppers, uh, red peppers, red bell peppers. You can do red, yellow, green. I'm not a huge fan of green. That's the only reason I didn't do green, but I got red, I got red onions. And like I said, I'm gonna do the, the tomatoes last. And what I wanted it to do, I mean, I didn't want to do something, I didn't want to do, I mean, I thought about doing like a couscous. We went to a, a bed and breakfast and had a really good couscous, and we were like, oh my God, we got to get this recipe. Um, but honestly, when you're, I love when you go and you try something someplace, and you're like, oh my God, this is great. The only reason I didn't do broccoli in this place is because Joe's not a super big fan. I mean, he'll take it or leave it, but I, I wanted a little bit more firmness and cauliflower has a little bit more stiffness than broccoli for me that's just what i found so you can do your cauliflower in another you don't even have to do it and are you going to be able to tell that's the same thing no you really can't even tell if anybody has done this you don't even know it's literally cauliflower you taste like little you taste and that's why i wanted to flavor it you i flavor it separate because i just i didn't want just steamed cauliflower or steamed rice i wanted the rice to have a little flavor i've done cilantro lime with that i've turned that into a cilantro lime 
So I use vegetable stock because I didn't know, like I said, what my girl was hoping for. So, and this is just what I do. I put a little bit of the vegetable stock around the outside just to help it get along the bigger vegetables. Here's the slurry. It's soy sauce, poison sauce, uh, teriyaki. I put a, a, about a half a teaspoon of, pea, of sesame oil. Be very careful if you use sesame oil because it does go crazy. A teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. Um, I'm going to add cornstarch just as it's going to help it thicken. And then I'm going to put it over my... Bake out there. Oh, why? What happened? Thank you, Faithy. Ten memberships. Faithy, you're Love a blessing. Bacon, y'all. Love. Y'all put some bacon yeah. up in the house. Bacon, 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 bacon. As soon as this is ready, oh, can I get um the lid? Um, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. You're like it's Oh, it's a big one. I forgot to use my other one. Sorry. Oh, the big one. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't even know where that is, Daddy. Just go talk to your people. I'm going to talk to my people. I'll find it. <laughs> Move it around. It's okay to put... I mean, there's no limit on what you can put. You can put little baby corns. I was going to put bean sprouts in it. I've had bean sprouts Thank in it. I love bean sprouts. If you know, you know. Bean sprouts just have their own little flavor. If you want scrambled egg in it, you can do the scrambled egg in it. This is, just make sure when you're Still doing this. Huh? Aw, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bacon, 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 bacon. Thank you for sliding through, Still in Leather. <laughs> I do this, only, only reason I'm saying I stress this is because once you put your cornstarch in it, you guys, um, it does need to get uh, mixed in there versus, you know what I mean, like that. You have to kind of blend it well so that the little clumps can join the party what of love. Soflo Mama, the one that's, she's yeah, she said, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> I appreciate it, Mama. I appreciate it. I mean, I, I, everybody's special to me. Everybody. Everybody is special to me. Uh, I mean, like when Poppy asked me to make the French onion soup. Yeah, hell yeah, well, I'll do it for you. Um, so full mama, I know that she eats this kind of way and for her to come to a, all of her other lives, you guys, I mean, she, that's a trooper. So for the look, I'm going to be having this later. I love it. It's a sin how much I love. I love it. I love it. And then when you said mitten, I got all the ingredients. I'm going to make it. I'm like, Oh, no, I wanted to. Okay. And you don't have to uh, make your rice. I'm not going to blend my rice. It can be a fried rice, but I want it to be a top. This is going to be a topping for my rice. That's why I wanted my rice to have flavor in it. You know what I mean? This is going to have like its own flavor. It's just like fry, like when you're making fried rice. That's why I wanted to have a little bit of glaze on my, on my, um, mm -hmm. what's this called? My veggies, my vegetables. And you don't have to do the tomato. Oh, let me bring you guys over so you guys don't have to see like the floor. Okay. Heat helps your slurry get rolling. These are squash, but they're called calabacita. They're a little bit shorter. I think they taste a little different. Joe thinks they're different. Um, I just like them. I like them. I like bean sprouts in here. The baby corns, I, I do, not a super fan, but they're not bad. And you can do your carrots in a circle. We like ours like in matchsticks. Red onion. Use white onion if that's what you have, you guys. Okay, I'm going to put this on low and I'm going to let it hang out. I want to taste it, see if it needs some salt. Oh, good. What, baby? Smells good. Hey, hey, come on with that. That's the man. Yeah, you want to use that? Yeah, spread that. And then I'm going to plate it up with my 
arroz. I need, I need, uh, you cauliflower first, then you're going to put that on top? I am. It's called rice, bro. Yeah. How you be calling it cauliflower? If someone comes in here and tries to bust you out, make that person leave the kitchen. You're going to fool your husband to think he's eating rice, and it's actually cauliflower. All right. I chose to put a little oil to toast mine up. I put a little oil, I put a little garlic and onion, and I toasted my rice a little bit. So my rice is actually going to have flavor before kneading all the other stuff, okay? And I made the rice homemade. It was a four, $3 cauliflower broken in half, and so now I'm actually only using uh, two, what, 150 of it? Ah. Okay. That looks good. Thank you, baby. Pick out your husband's favorite vegetables. If he likes it on the side of mashed potatoes or something, then use the vegetables that he really likes. It's the only way you're going to get them there. And the, honestly, the only thing that's bad here, you guys, is the cornstarch. I mean, that's actually the only thing that's... that's corn, though. Hey, <laughs> that was easy. Okay, let's go. One more. One more for the road. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we're going to do a tink, you guys. I already opened it. It tasted good, Dad. Yeah? This. One of the frosty ones? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Here you go, baby. That looks good, y'all. That looks really good. Yeah. Look at that. So I was like, who's going to eat this? I was like, that. we're going to eat good. this. Y'all. That looks good, y'all. Y'all can thank SoFlo Mama because of her, we eaten like this. All right, we're going to do a tink. Ooh. Come on. Ready? Oh, is that the wrong one? The wrong one. <laughs> All right, let's there do it. it. Ready, guys? No salt, pepper, anything? You don't need no, nothing? I, mm -hmm. Or did you, it's all good? Ready it's all to go? good. It's all good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, come on. Yeah. What do you got? What do you, ooh, you got a mushroom. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, tink. Tink. Ready? Yes. Tink. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. And keep them crunchy. Mm. I love the peppers crunchy. That's really good. And the mushroom. Did you hear that? Very good. That's really good, man. That tastes good. No, no. I'm glad you like it. That's mm -hmm. what you're eating for the next month. <laughs> I could do it. That's good, man. Mm. That's pretty good. Wow. Can no. I make a believer in you? Right now, where's the chicken? <sighs> no, okay. Mm. Let me see my people. I hope you like it, Mama. I hope you did. <sighs> That's good. I like it. Yay, SoFlo Mama. Ooh, toasted sesame seeds. That sounds good. Yeah. Still in leather. That sounds very good in here. Yeah. Mmm, Burke's Bunch, Sofa Mama, still in leather. It's good. I want to see if there's any questions. If anybody needs questions. It does taste like rice. It does? It reminds me of rice. It yeah. tastes like rice. You don't even know it's not rice. I have no glasses. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. My, um, I can't see anything. Yes. In your purse? I got it, yeah. I got a, an extra pair. All right. All right, so, uh, still in leather, you make... Uh, you make a nice, big, wonderful meal and let everybody else chow. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love you, so Flo. Thank you, Penny Burks. Thank you, guys. Green Goblin, hi, honey. I hope you're doing good today. I'm hey, glad you guys goblin. love it. I'm glad you guys are going to try it, Calypso Mama. Thank you so much, Faithy. Thank you for blessing all. Look at Mingo, Edwards, Mascara Mistakes. Thank you. There's so many people that were blessed with the membership. B. Rando, thank you, Faith. Oh, honey, you're so amazing. You guys are so, so blessed. A blessing to me and Joe. Thank I'm you, guys. I'm putting the video out because I'm cooking. I'm smoking pork butt right now. I'm going to go put some more smoke on it right now. I know, Penny. I know. That's how I feel. I mean, I've, I've, SoFlo Mama chose to 
So if little mama chose to stick around, and my heart will always be appreciative. So I love all of you guys. I use just cauliflower. Yes, I got a head like this. I broke it in half, and then I grabbed two or three pieces. I rinsed them off in water, and I put them in the Ninja. But I've seen people, my girlfriend does, it's just a knife. She just breaks it and just chops it up like this. But you guys know I don't have really good hands. But she chops it up like that. Ah, Faithy, shut up. Go, go get in the shower. You're fine, mama. This is what you do. Go like that. And you can either take the pieces off like that. And it's going to crumble them. Okay? Or we had a ninja that worked. A blender, I'm sure, would work. That's what we used. Then I just stuck them in a plastic bag like this. Microwaved it for two minutes. I didn't, I'm not going to buy it. You guys, you guys know how I feel about buying stuff from the store. I microwaved this for two or three minutes. When it came in, <laughs> the food's calling you. I love you, Fresh Prince. Hey, OK Crimes. Um, yeah, I mean, I've used it for stir fry. I've used it, what you said, when we were doing the Kato, I did my rice, I made my chicken, I made my uh, my vegetables. We did broccoli and chicken, and we used that for rice for the whole year. We did a whole year of Kato. And then we did decided to do locale. That, I mean, we just choose, I mean, I can cook different ways. It's just a matter of, like, we made the uh, cheese taco shell, taco, taco shells. Like you put cheese on a cookie shell, cookie sheet, put it in the oven, and then when they're melted and it comes out, you kind of lay, lay it on there. <laughs> you put it on like a glass or a bowl and your little shell curves and you use that. So that's it, you guys. Um, I use them. I use, we made chips like circles because Joe loves chips. So, um, you, yeah, that was a different season of life. Um, I made like small little patches like that and you stick them in the oven, they come out and they're crispy. Joe ate those. So we get red peppers, put some cream cheese in it, and put the, everything but the bagel seasoning on it. And a tomato. Very good. The tomato tastes good in it, right? Yeah, it just is too. different. Yeah. The tomato towards the end, the steam of everything kind of gets it cooked, but you just mm -hmm. have like a little burst of, of I love it. And I just use one Roma. On top of yep. I used one Roma tomato, and that was at the very ending. I just laid it on top, and that's how it's done. I'd even pay for that. That's pretty good. <laughs> I love you guys. Be blessed, Faith. Thank you for blessing me. Our cash apps attach. If anybody's able to do anything, if you can't, please just like it, share it, do whatever you can on that end. I will take a blessing any way you give it to us. If you guys are enjoying the content, I appreciate it. We've got 770. We're so excited, you guys. We're so excited. And watch my video, because but I'm boring though. <laughs> You're I'm not very boring. boring when I'm on my videos. Because I'm just telling you how it is. He talks you to, to you. I just talk to you. I try to teach you mm -hmm. what I know, at least what I know about uh, smoking. Anyways, be blessed. I think the next thing I want to do is try a cauliflower crust pizza. That's our next one. Be blessed, you guys. We're going to be going live. Joe's going to be doing the chili dog sauce tonight, 630, I believe. Be blessed, y'all. Thank you so much, Faithy. Go shower, mama. She'll be with me, so. Mm -hmm. It won't be boring. Green Goblin, thank you. No, Selflo, you are great, Mama. Rachel, thank you. Fresh Prince, everybody, so y'all are oh, blessing. Y'all yeah. are truly a blessing. Just keeping the vibe in here so positive <sighs> makes my heart so happy. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you for being great. Thank you for being just a great community. Hi, Mirandy. You can say that you come in whenever you want. Right. Oh, girl, isn't that good? The seven layer. Mm. You could just sit down and watch a movie with your own little seven layer bean dip. I'm telling you, you can. You're just like, oh my God, did I eat this whole dang thing? Yeah, you did. It was so good. I want to go make some more. Okay, I love you guys. Y'all, I gotta go. Bye. Thank you, Ray.